when you get it this is what it looks like it does come in a brick the fact that it's this thick consistency and it's non comedogenic is kind of shocking i think i like this more than the rosehip oil if you guys like matte then you know stay away from shea butter it's kind of like having lip gloss on your lips except it's all over your face hi guys welcome back to my channel so this week i have been trying out shea butter on my face as my morning and nighttime moisturizer so a lot of you guys were recommending me to try shea butter so when i read that you guys wanted me to try out shea butter i was really excited because not only is it super moisturizing but it is also a zero to one on the comedogenic scale which essentially means that it's not really supposed to clog pores the way it works is it essentially creates a protective seal over your skin which helps to lock in moisture and also helps to fill in any cracks that you have on your skin and yes it does all of this while being a zero to one on the comedogenic scale which I was really skeptical of but if you guys like moisturizing products like me you're definitely gonna want to watch this video so if you guys want to see what happened to my skin after I used shea butter for the last seven days then just keep on watching this week we're gonna be trying shea butter so I just ordered this off Amazon so this is the one that I bought this is yellow brick road pure unrefined raw shea butter I tried to get the purest one on Amazon so if you guys want to try this I will link it below for you guys by the way before I open this this is my skin today. I don't really have any blemishes right now. The only thing that I have is this. It came in this huge chunk. From what I've read online, it's a lot like coconut oil in that you just like scoop some, rub it between your fingers, and it sort of like melts in your hand. When you get it, this is what it looks like. It does come in a brick. I think you're just supposed to like peel off a piece, some bits of it like this and rub it between your hands and it's just supposed to like melt but it's very waxy see the fact that it's this thick consistency and it's non-comedogenic is kind of shocking oh okay i just i don't want to get it in my hair and my hands are super waxy Oh my gosh, my hands. I need to get my hair out of my face. Wow, I, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm, I like this a lot so far. As you guys know, anything that's going to make my skin feel moisturized, I feel like A, that makes me look better, and B, my skin just responds better to things that are more, more moisturizing slash oily. Typically, as you guys know, if you guys are new, you probably wouldn't know that I like to use these two oils, this one at night and this one in the morning, this one with tea tree oil. This shea butter, it's not even an oil, but it differs from jojoba oil and rosehip oil in that it's a lot thicker. And even when you rub it in between your hands, it doesn't become liquidy like coconut oil. It stays that thick consistency, but it just feels like a very rich moisturizer i'm gonna update you guys though in like two hours to see what it's gonna look like i don't want to look like a grease ball i have to go out in like a couple hours so i'll talk to you guys in two hours to give you guys the update on my skin hey guys so it's the next day now and of course i'm not even surprised with myself i didn't update you guys two hours after putting the shea butter on my face i just sort of forgot slash got really busy but today I'm gonna update you guys two hours later, I promise. So right now it is 10, 17, and I just got out of the shower and put the shea butter on my face. One thing that I did notice yesterday is that even like six, eight, nine hours after I put the shea butter on my face, my face was very hydrated looking, almost a little bit greasy looking i know that it wasn't the grease it was the shea butter for me that's a good thing though because i like that look like i felt like I, it looked like i had a natural highlighter on like it does right now but i know a lot of people probably aren't a fan of that look let me just go in really quick to show you guys more up close what my skin looks like so i do really really like it so far and i'm not having any irritation from it whatsoever like no itchiness um no bumps no acne nothing i will update you guys in two hours what my skin looks like after having this on i'm just gonna warn you guys it's probably not gonna look much different from this but yeah stay tuned for my two hour update oh my gosh wow i was just gonna come on here and be like all right how does my skin look expecting it to kind of look too oily 
but I feel like it looks really, really good and I have no makeup on at all. I think I like this more than the rosehip oil. I know that it's not good to touch your face, but I do just wanna quickly touch my face to see how it feels. I can still feel it on my forehead here. If I don't have any more updates for the rest of the day, I will see you guys tomorrow on day three. So there is actually just one thing that I forgot to mention. The only downside to this is that if you guys have like crazy hair like me where it gets in your face a lot, the shea butter will probably get on your hair and as you guys can see with this group of baby hairs they do look a little bit greasy and that is from the shea butter shea butter is good for your hair so it's really not that big of a deal and not something that's a deal breaker for me that's literally the same thing as what I just said. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys about that because for some of you, that may be an issue. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and I really, really need to moisturize. So I'm about to do that. So far, keeping this in the bag that it came in is going perfectly fine. Nothing has melted at all. Nothing has even happened. I think I grabbed a little bit too much. Every time I put this on, I forget to put my hair back because it really it will get stuck in your freaking hair. Because it's so thick, you kind of have to like drag your face in order to put it on. Which I know is not good for your skin. It's not good because it can cause wrinkles and also you're just pulling at your skin. That can irritate it. But yeah, this morning I woke up and I felt like my skin looked amazing before I even washed it. Also yesterday after I filmed my update, I felt like my skin looked amazing. I'll insert a picture here to show you guys. I actually took a picture because I was like in shock at how good and glowy my skin looks and just completely blemish and like acne scar free so today i am going to put makeup on with the shea butter so i'm just gonna let this sit for 15 minutes and i will be back to put on makeup it is now time for me to put my makeup on the main thing that i'm going to be seeing is how the foundation and concealer sit on my face I'm not even using foundation. I don't know why I called it that, but what I'm using is BB cream. I feel like it went on really well, actually. I was kind of surprised because I don't know what I was expecting. Shea butter is just really, really thick. It's a little bit tacky. But now that I think about it, I think that for my skin at least, the consistency of the shea butter makes it really, really good for applying makeup. Definitely gets two thumbs up from me. I just feel like shea butter is definitely making my skin look very nice and healthy. This is how the makeup came out with the shea butter on my face as a base. I think that it looks really, really good, but the true test will be what my makeup looks like in like five hours. Hi guys, so it's actually been like probably six hours since I applied my makeup and I do feel like my makeup looks, ooh, what is that? I'm just gonna touch my face because I wanna feel what it feels like if it feels tacky. Uh, a little bit, but it's really not that bad. My mascara was running a little bit. I think it looked worse than it was because of the shea butter and the fact that my skin feels really like moisturized, a little bit oily. And in terms of how it looks, I feel like it looks really, really good. But again, I still think that shea butter is awesome for people who like that dewy oily i don't even know if oily is the right word just like the dewy look but if you are not into that look if you guys like matte then you know stay away from shea butter so i'm gonna take off my makeup i'm gonna go to bed i'm just really tired and i'm ready to go to sleep and i will talk to you guys tomorrow Hey guys, so it is day five now. I don't know if this is related to the shea butter, but I have a pimple right here. It's like right on my forehead. And then I also got one right here. This I think may have been from the fact that I got my eyebrows waxed. Not to be negative because I honestly like the shea butter so far, but something that I've noticed is that when you're using the shea butter, I think I've explained this already in the video, but it's really really sticky it's kind of like having lip gloss on your lips except it's all over your face and you know when you have lip gloss on and like the wind blows the hair in your lips it gets stuck and you have to like peel it off that's pretty much what happens to your face after you use shea butter but honestly that's like a very minor issue i think so far shea butter is my number one morning moisturizer for when i am not wearing makeup 
if I'm gonna wear makeup, it's still rose hip seed oil. But if I am going to be going to sleep, I do like the shea butter, but it like gets on my pillow. It just feels like really sticky when I have my face on my pillow, whereas jojoba oil, just 10 out of 10. So I'm just gonna go about my day and I will see you guys tomorrow for a day six update. Hey guys, so here I am, no makeup for today's shea butter update what do you know we have a friend here but i still think that that's just from getting my eyebrows waxed so i wore makeup yesterday with the shea butter and i can definitely confirm that i just i'm not a fan but for every other situation i do like shea butter and something that i realized is that the shea butter smells smells very strongly of african black soap that is because there is unrefined shea butter in it, which is kind of surprising for me because if you guys caught this video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. There was a lot of controversy in the comments for some reason, but it just really didn't work well for my skin. But it's kind of surprising because it does have shea butter in it. But then again, I was washing my face with this and it also has coconut oil. So that's probably why it really just didn't work for me because of the coconut oil yeah i feel like everything looks fine honestly i'm not breaking out and i am really enjoying shea butter so i will see you guys manana for my next day update hey guys so it's the very last day and holy my face is so dry i really really need to put this on i just got out of the shower i'm just going to get some on my finger here and this time i'm being smart about putting this on i am putting my hair back because as i have been mentioning throughout this entire video this will get on your hair if that's not a problem for you then it shouldn't be a problem but if you don't want it to get on your hair, then definitely put your hair back. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I really like how shea butter like almost sleeks back your eyebrows like that. It's like eyebrow gel, but it's in the form of a moisturizer. I don't know, the one, I look crazy. The one thing that I don't like about shea butter is that it really is hard to apply at first just because of how thick it is. It's like you're pulling at your skin, which I feel like will lead to premature aging. So I'm gonna definitely try that whipped shea butter consistency which i've seen online i don't know how to make it i haven't even looked into it i've just seen it in like a bunch of pictures of shea butter it just almost looks like shea butter but in like a whipped cream type consistency this is what my skin looks like at the very end of using shea butter and what i would give this out of 10 is a 9 out of 10 i would not give it a 10 out of 10 because i don't like how it gets in my hair but that's not even that big of a deal because it really only gets in my baby hairs see oh wait also because i don't like the way that it looks when i wear makeup i love shea butter for the days when i'm just not going to be wearing any makeup those types of days as you guys can see it just gives me a natural glow it's an amazing moisturizing product and i'm so so grateful and happy that you guys suggested me to try this once again this will be linked in the description if you guys want to try it out i highly highly recommend it but of course everyone's skin is different just because something works well for me doesn't mean it will work well for you but it's worth a try so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more skincare and beauty videos i love all of you and i will talk to you guys next time and i'm losing my freaking voice i'll talk to you guys next time